Hey everyone, Corey Thorne coming in to do my monthly channeled messages. Um, please remember this is not an astrological, this is not tarot or oracle, even though I'm using the cards. Um, this is me channeling through that energy of those born under each sign. And this is not a personal reading. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not for you. This is just the energy. And you can take bits and pieces and, and it may fit into your life. It's like, don't reject don't reject instantly when you start to hear the message. You're like, oh, that doesn't have nothing to do with me. You never know because I don't break them down into um, romance or personal or, you know, it's like this is all collective. This energy can come into any relationship. It can be a part of any part of your life. And it is just energy. And so this is for entertainment only. Um, this is not for you to dictate your life. It's for you to take a look at yourself sometimes. And sometimes, uh, and this is for Libra. And so for Libra, I'm also being told here with this, please don't take yourself so serious. <laughs> this is my Libra. Um, this is for my Libras and for those born under that Libra sign. And I just feel like it's like that, you know, it's like there's a bump in the road or a, a redirection that's, that's, that's there for you right now. And, and it's telling me, I'm like, I just keep rubbing my hand. I'm like rubbing right here. So what I'm picking up and feeling right here is that um, it's kind of like it's in your hands, but it's not in your hands. There is some healing. I do have, I keep tapping. I keep getting, okay. And I'm going to go with this. I have to go with this. For my Libras, for some of you, not all of you, and I've been reading this for months. Now I know I've stopped reading you. I've stopped reading all my signs for a few months because I've just started doing it. <laughs> there was nothing to give, not much to give. Um, but the same message is back again as the last messages I gave for you. There is like fortune, abundance, wealth. If you have not been like really stepping into your, into your, flow of abundance and wealth and putting your focus there, changing your thoughts into a more sense of that, I'd advise you to get there. Start start doing some meditation music, some some beats um, that that really resonate the frequencies that 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 resonate into um, abundance, into our you know into the wealth code. I don't know why I feel like you're being either recognized, gifted, or given some sort of acknowledgement, inheritance, flow of abundance. Now, abundance is not always money. It can be total joy, happiness. It could be the life you dreamt of. It can be anything that brings us into that sense of our life feeling like it is abundant. And it's coming around a lot of that Libra energy. And I'm like, maybe it's a lotto ticket. I don't know, but it just feels, <laughs> buy the lotto ticket anyway. It just feels like there's that sense of, um, you've been challenged a lot over a period of a lot of years. And you've still had good things happening as well. But there is a shift, a change, finally. And I, and I had this for you and for Aries a lot. Um, coming out of the hard times, the difficult times, like finally being set free. And so if you've had some sort of like attachment, I feel like there's some sort of negative entity energy, like clinging from the, clinging from the fricking moon, the stars, the, the, the planets, like that has been overshadowing you and it could be old you know it could be an old experience that old karmatic debts whatever it may be that you've had to live out in this lifetime and now they're being lifted finally gone and as i get that my back turns ice ice cold and as a healer i get hot and cold energy and i don't want to label it as one particular thing but that sense of when the ice breaks and the flow starts to come back in. It was like the ice queen. <laughs> it was like the ice queen laid some sort of energy, some sort of like 
kind of, some of you may be, have been repeating over, I feel like I've been cursed, or I feel like, like what happened to my world? What happened to my life? It was good for so long. And it could have been something so traumatic that you had been experiencing that you shut down and you forgot to live anymore and you stop living and you just accept it. This is it. That's it. That's all I have. And now it's like you're awakening again. You're coming back to life and it's bringing in a new sense of energy, a recharge, a revitalize, uh, revitalize. That's not the word I want to use. That's not the word revival, a revival of your truest of self. And it may be in alignment to, I'm going to tell somebody to check your, check your, check your Chinese astrology with it. This feels like a 24 year span, a 20 year span. And it just feels like that extension of, of like a cluster amount of time, but the time is now up and there is a freedom and there's a let go and there's a release. And I'm like, I thought I'd get some sort of a different reading for Libra, but no, they're determined to hold on to you, to encourage you, to inspire you, to not to lose faith now. Don't lose it now. You're too close. And as we come out of that 2021 and shift into a 2022, I feel like that's the massive, massive shift. There's a cluster that just finally says, here you go. Here you go. It's yours again. Like, and not all have been in this. And I feel like it's a sequence. It's been like a sequence of events and a, a pile of events. And almost feels like I'm tying you to Aries. It connects to those. And I know you're not even of the same, you know, elementals. But, but there's an alignment here somehow. Interesting. But it just feels like that whole sense of like, I see all the wheels spinning together, all the wheels coming together and, and being able to just, I want to say, see, wheel of, you have the wheel of fortune. And this is of God will, like, and this is of shift and change. This is of um, shedding this, shedding the old, shedding skin, and um, you put in the work. Like you've done what needs to be done. You've done the studying. You've done the things, and it comes happy endings. So in between here, I'm gonna kind of put what I have. And I'm reading it not by my tarot messages the way my tarot normally is because it's a channeled message. I just needed something to validate this for me. So I have the high priestess and then I have the 10 of swords and then I have the king of swords. And this feels like the ending. Like I said, this feels like the rise to me. And this feels like what was at the works, what's been at work. So it's like really truly coming into the balance of the, of the masculine and the feminine coming into one joy, you know, your oneness, knowing exactly who and what you are, the, the fruitfulness of your world, of your life, of taking that sense of ch charge of your life and growing, evolving, being at peace and I don't know. The battles are over. They're done. You're not there no more. You have your, you know, your justice has been served. You're not, to, you know, and this is for me, well, <laughs> this is for me, that sense of um, you've paid the price, you've paid the piper, and now you get to celebrate. I just see like a, a union, a come together, that mind, body, soul connection. And this is probably one of the most beautiful readings I think I've been, energies I've been able to get through. And, and I know November is definitely still um, a challenge, but free, free. 
finally free, finally coming through that sense of freedom. And I'm like, don't give up now. Hold on. Things are changing. And um, that's what I got for you. Much love. Have a beautiful month. And um, I will see you in December. Bye-bye.